and welcome to physics today we're going to talk about a long time ago a man named Aristotle started thinking about it try to understand why object in motion slow down and he hypothesized that object in motion slow down because they get tired so of course now we know that he was wrong because now we know that oh my god sar is missing so of course sir isaac newton told us that why object slow down objects slow down according to sir isaac newton because of friction and uh, how the slow down actually is something to do with this graph this is called friction graph and today i'm going to help you understand this friction graph this is force of friction at the y-axis this is applied force at the x-axis this is a static friction and this is kinetic friction a static and this one of course is this one of course is the is the kinetic all right uh, let me show you the simulation. So let me explain what is going on. The box is 10 kilogram, 10 kilogram box sitting on a road. Mr. Barry is trying to move this box by using a rope with his car. Now at zero second, Mr. Barry applies zero Newton. So what happened? Nothing happened. The friction is zero because object at rest. Well, this is a big misconception. Friction is zero not because object is at rest. Friction is zero because Mr. Barry applied zero Newton. Few moments later, at one second, Mr. Barry applied 10 Newton. What happened? The friction is now 10 Newton. Friction increases to keep the box at rest. So friction can increase. What type of friction are we talking about? We are talking about static friction. Yes, according to Sir Isaac Newton, there are two types of friction. Static friction, when object is at rest, and kinetic friction, object when object in motion. And the coefficient of friction for static friction is mu s, and coefficient of friction for kinetic friction is mu k, and mu s is always greater than mu k. So let me go back to this story. All right, at zero second, Mr. Berry applies zero Newton, so force of friction is zero Newton. At one second, Mr. Berry applied 10 Newton. Now, force of friction is, of course, 10 Newton. Box is at rest. Because why the box is at rest? Well, in order to the, move the box, Mr. Berry has to apply more than maximum static friction. What is the maximum static friction? Maximum static friction is right here on the top. Maximum static friction is right here. What is that maximum static friction? Maximum static friction for this problem is 39.2. How it is 39.2? It's 0.4, which is mu s, times fn, which is 98 newton. Now, increase the force. So he applied 38 newton. Now, what is the friction? Friction is now 38 newton. Is the box moving? No, it's not moving because 38 Newton is not enough. What is enough? 39.2. So now Mr. Berry applied 40 Newton. Okay, uh, he realized that 38 is not enough, so he need to move the box. So he applied 40 Newton. Now what happened? When he applied 40 Newton, as you see that 40 Newton is more than the maximum static friction, which is 39.2. Now the box will start moving.